Welcome to Technique Friday with Els. Today I'll be showing you how to create a project featuring my entwined circles and I'll also be using Away With Words, the Merry Christmas and the soft finish cardstock. So this is the card I will create and I want to show you the uh, dies that I'm using. So these are the entwined circles. So it comes with three different circles and then a little snowflake. We also have the entwined oval, so it comes with two ovals, some little snowflakes and some little flowers as well to decorate it. And then uh, the other die I'm using are the stitched squares. And the largest one of our stitched square is five and a quarter and that's the one I'm using in this project. So our um, dies are also very uh, good to use for scrapbooking because of the size. And then we have the scalloped squares and then we have the posted stamp squares. And we have the regular squares. So we have four different ones right now and they are really really fun to use and they all work together. So here are some samples um, using the entwined circles. So this is the smallest one that, and this is a card by Selma Stevenson and those are Josettes like the Hedgehog and the Mushrooms. Uh, so she used the postage stamp here and that's the small entwined circle. And then here I have another card from Selma. So here she layered several ones, several entwined circles. And then she used all kinds of dies from Susan. So the poinsettia, the mistletoe is in here. And then the white pine bow with the pine cones. And the Noel is from Suzanne Cannon, away with words. And then this is a sample using the entwined ovals. And then here the cherries is from um, Suzanne, away with words. And then the hydrangea and the jasmine, two of my favorites, those are from Susan as well from the garden. And then the little corners are Elizabeth Craft Designs as well. So here I have the project. So it's a very like nice and clean uh, card, uh, fast to make of course, so you can make more of those. So here I have the base card, so that's the white soft finish cardstock. And um, the card size is five and a half by five and a half. And then of course it's a square, so makes sense. And then this is a five and a quarter. So that's the largest of the stitched dies. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put my double-sided adhesive on the back and I'm using the six millimeter one here. But you can use any size of course. And our double-sided adhesive is very easy to tear. Take off the release. And then I'm going to position it on the card. And then here I have the entwined circles. So I have the two largest ones in here. And I already cut those using uh, the double-sided adhesive on the back. So it's a sticker right away. So I can just take that off. That's one. Then here I have the other one. So just putting that somewhere, and, you know, random, doesn't need to be precise. And then I'm going to decorate it with glitter dots. So I'm going to use the transparent silver ones. So I'm going to take the my tweezer because the tweezer and I kind of press them down with my nails so they don't because sometimes they just fly away. So I'm just going to pick them up using my tweezer. Okay I think that's enough. And then I'm going to put my snowflakes down and what I did I have a piece of release sheet here from the tape. Then I'm going to have a little bit of the Kids Choice glue, just use a stick because I only want a little bit of glue in the center and then the glitter dots that I'm going to put in there will hold it in place. So just stick it on there. That's it. And then I'm going to take those glitter dots again, pick those up and put those in the center. And then I will cut my uh, Merry Christmas. So I did bring in my big shots. Uh, you can use any die cutting machine. And here I have like a base plate and then the metal adapter plate. So that's a metal adapter plate. And that plate also fits like in a color book. You see it's a, it's a good size for the color book and for most die cutting machines. So uh, here I have a piece of uh, silver cardstock with our clear double sided adhesive on the back. And because this is a more detailed die, that's why I'm using my metal adapter plate. I also use that if I want to cut our shimmer sheets. So just on the plate on top and I'm going to run it through I'm using my tweezer to poke it out. And you just poke out all those pieces. And if you have a smaller piece that didn't come out, you see you just lift it up from that backing. So I'm going to remove the release sheet from this. And then you just position that 
however you want to and it's a sticker right away and the advantage of the tape as well so you have a really nice clean cut so no glue ne nowhere so it works really really well so that's it for today's YouTube I've suggested a couple of videos you might enjoy and I hope to see you next time